so John Brown will start the match at left back where he began his senior professional career at Hamilton. And wearing a number eight jersey is 21-year-old Ian Ferguson playing his first competitive match of the season after being injured playing against Bordeaux pre-season. And he'll be very keen to justify his £800,000 plus transfer fee from St. Martin last season. Celtic 2 appear to favour a 4-4-2 formation with Derek White on the bench and Aiken and McCarthy in central defence. Billy Stark's experience is preferred to the potential of young Joe Miller who's the second Celtic substitute. And it's a brand new experience for Ian Andrews, the only Celtic man playing in his first Old Firm match this afternoon and he's likely to have his nerve tested very early on. The referee, Kenny Hope, one of Scotland's highest rated officials, planning his sixth Old Firm match as Celtic get the match underway in the midst of the most incredible atmosphere. It's been said many times before, but I've certainly witnessed a vast number of Old Firm matches, and the atmosphere in the half hour building up to the start of this match really was something special. So, conditions will be treacherous because it's wet underfoot, there have been squally showers all morning. And it's blustery overhead, so there could be problems, particularly for defenders and for goalkeepers in particular. Chris Woods, of course, has been over the course many times before. His opposite number, Ian Andrews, though. Very keen, I'm sure, to get his first touch of the ball. And there's Mick McCarthy. And the throw goes to Rangers on the far side. And there's Gary Stevens, his first old firm match, along with Kevin Drinkle chesting that down for Durant. Good play by Durant, and as he goes down, there are fierce appeals for a foul. The challenge came from Anton Rogan. The referee, Kenny Hope, right up with the play, indicating that that was a dive by Durant. So the ball is out on the far side, and it'll be a throw to Rangers. It's a very interesting early moment. Tackle came from Ian Ferguson, a very heavy one at that, and the referee is having a war with Ferguson. The Celtic players protesting fiercely to referee Hope. And Ian Ferguson crunching into Peter Grant. You see, as the ball came across, here was Peter Grant. Ferguson was clearly late, totally committed. And that was certainly a bad tackle by the young Rangers number eight. So Mick McCarthy's free kick. Butcher going up with Walker. Durant with the clearance. And Ferguson didn't quite manage to keep the ball in play, so it's a throw on the far side with Celtic having the chance with wind assistance now to keep the pressure on. Ian Durant organising his teammates, marking capacity, Mark Walters he was calling to. Has freshened behind Celtic. There's McAvenny. Richard Goff doing well. And there's Stevens. Very confident on the ball. Dangerous moment though. The ball coming across goal for Butcher's header. That's off the post. There's McAvenny. Celtic are in front. Joy for Frank McAvenny with five minutes on the clock. The Celtic end goes wild. Peter Grant had the original shot but touched the post. Chris Woods appeared to see that late. Well, what an opening from Celtic. The league champion starting off. Richard Goss clearly smiling high there. Puts his header. Grant with the shot off the post. Back to McAvenny for that deadly finish. And Celtic take the lead. Push in the back by Aiken on McCoist. It looked though as though both players had misjudged the flight of the ball. There's Kevin Drinkle. I wonder what he makes of this experience, an old firm match. First time in his career. Ray Wilkins will take the free kick. Goff is in the box once again. So is Butcher. Back to Brown. Blocked by McCarthy, there's McCoist! Finishing by Ali McCoist. Ten minutes gone. Rangers are back on terms. And that was top class striking. 
McCoy savouring the moment, as are the Rangers fans. But the aerial power of Rangers, Butcherinkov causing all the problems. This broke to John Brown, a powerful volley was blocked by McCarthy, rebounded back across the face of the box to Ali McCoy. And that drilled left foot shot left Andrews helpless. And Ali McCoy is continuing his magnificent scoring record against Celtic. And what a start to the first Old Firm match of the season. Ten minutes gone, one apiece. And now it's the Rangers fans who are making themselves happy. Lifting it forward, there's Walker. John Brown, hopeful one forward. McCarthy's given that straight to McCoyst. He's away from Aiken, still McCoyst. And superb play from Ali McCoyst. Now clearly complaining about the tackle by Roy Aiken. It certainly appeared to be a foul, but an error by McCarthy, cashed in on by Ali McCoyst. Now look at the way he takes on Aiken. Aiken certainly appeared to impede him. The referee gave the advantage, which I think was the right decision. And McCoy is under pressure, blast the shot wide. And now McCoy is being spoken to for the descent. Perhaps Ali McCoy is looking to have things both ways. He wanted the shot at goal and then wanted perhaps a second opportunity from a free kick. It's one for McAvenny to chase, which he does as willingly as ever. Couldn't keep it in play though. He was policed all the way by Terry Butcher. And it will be a Rangers throw. Butcher settling into the heart of the Rangers defence. There's Brown with the throw again, looking for McCoyst. Head flick finds Durant on the run. Walters is free over on the right. Good tackle by McCarthy. Drinkle running into trouble. There's Paul McStay. Impeded by Wilkins. Paul McStay trying to play a 1-2 with McAvenny. Taken out of the play by Wilkins and it'll be the English international who'll be the first player in the match to be booked. It was fine play this from Paul McStay. And Ray Wilkins cut out here as McStay released the pass. Wilkins blocking the run blatantly there from McStay. Walters with Morris, a foul by Morris. So Brown will take the free kick. Hoisting that towards Richard Goff, who wins it well for Rangers. Kicked away first time by McCarthy. Walters returns it, there's Drinkle! Good handling by Andrews. Will do him a lot of good early in the match, a fine save. The high ball knotted down by Goff, the clearance by McCarthy, return first time by Ferguson, Drinkle turning for the grounder, which Andrews took very well indeed. McAvenny now to Barnes, as Walker through the middle. Barnes again, this is Paul McStay, the momentum for the moment is gone for Celtic. Chris Morris now joining the attack. Here's Walker. Now Barnes. Barnes charging into the box, committing the range of defence. And that was superb play from Tommy Barnes. Bringing out that excellent tackle from Terry Butcher, but so positive. Saw no pass on at the edge of the box, committed the Rangers defence, invited anyone to make a rash challenge on him, and then brought out that fine tackle from Butcher. Now it's Barnes himself who'll take the corner kick. Back from Gary Stevens to Barnes. Our post ball, Woods is committed, he's in trouble. And a goal kick to Rangers, but an anxious moment there for Chris Woods. He made up his mind early on to go for that. There was Barnes, it was a fine cross, a very difficult one for a keeper. He didn't make it, and the header went wide. Well taken down by McCoy, holding off Rogan. This time the referee's whistle has gone. McCoy 
showing what remarkable strength he has when he's in possession. A very solidly built young man, hustling there with Rogan, who couldn't force him off the ball without committing the foul. Now John Brown coming across, deadly from set pieces around the box, too far out for the direct shot. That's Ian Ferguson. Walters taking the ball to the byline. Looping it back in for the first time, shot! Harry McCoist. Frustration for the Rangers striker, but he can have no qualms about the quality of the strike. Mark Walters doing so well after Ferguson played that into the box. The first time shot in the volley, a perfect view. It's only about six inches wide. It's a goss hitter. Durant doing well, he is Brown at the back. There's Aiken. Goff, well, he falls to Wilkins, took a knock there from Barnes after the ball had gone. An apology offered by Barnes. Here's Mark Walters. In goes Ferguson, met right away by McCarthy. It's back now with Durant. That appeared to be handball. And a very tough late tackle by McCarthy. And that wasn't called for. Durant, to his credit, making light of it. He had already been penalised for handball. Brian McCarthy came crunching in late. Let's take a look at this. Handball there by Durant. Now look at this tackle from Mick McCarthy. Sailing through the challenge after the ball had gone. McCarthy protesting vehemently. And a cut no ice with referee Hope. The decision's been taken to book the Republic of Ireland centre-half. The referee appears to have done a good job in calming McCarthy down. There's Aiken. Stevens and Goff in a bit of a tangle. Goff sorted out for Rangers with help from Stevens. Goff has got a touch. Now it's Rogan for Celtic. That's a good ball from Stark. His first touches have been very effective today, and that with a calculated foul by John Brown, which I'm sure will result in action from the referee. Chris Morris taken out of the play in calculated fashion here. Now, you see Morris got to the ball first, knocked it beyond the Rangers fullback, who just eased Morris to the ground. Ten minutes remaining in what has been a tremendous first half. The match as evenly poised at the scoreline. McAvenny and McCoist cancelling each other out. Early goals. Morgan playing it out for the throw. Be careful to avoid a corner kick. Goff and Butcher have gone up. It's launched in field by Stevens. There's Butcher. Back with Wilkins. Absolutely magnificent. Ray Wilkins. Ten minutes to half time, and a goal which Ray Wilkins will never have bettered in an illustrious career. Ian Andrews had not a hope. Well, a goal made in England, the throw from Gary Stevens, the header on from Terry Butcher, the stunning volley from Wilkins. And Andrews scarcely moved. There's Richard Goff, that goes back to Butcher. Stevens. And there goes the half-time whistle. An absolutely outstanding first 45 minutes. Peppered with excellent football. The culmination being the second goal for Rangers from Ray Wilkins. Rangers get the second half underway. The fans having the interval to have a break and reflect on what was an incredible first half. Leaving Rangers in front, and that's just about what they deserved over the piece. They had an edge, certainly from the time when Ray Wilkins got that second goal. 
they looked to be just a little bit better. Derek White has been introduced to the fray by Celtic for the second half. And the absent player is Tommy Barnes. Well, that involves some reorganisation for Celtic, and I wonder if Barnes was carrying a strain or a knock. It's headed on by Rogan. Here's Durant retrieving it for Rangers. McCoy nods it on, an awkward one for Andrews. And the ball is in the net. It's a goal for Rangers. Durant takes the credit. And it's a disaster for Ian Andrews. Well, that coming about in the most surprising fashion as Ian Durant retrieved the ball. It was a very difficult ball played in. It was Ali McCoy who must get the credit. It was his back header. Dipping under the bar, misjudged by Andrews. Grinkle didn't touch him. And McCoy gets the credit for the second goal. And Ian Andrews really has had a major setback in the Celtic game. So what a start to the second half. McCoyce is clearly just trying to nod that into the danger area, but it drifted and dipped in the wind under the crossbar. So Celtic now, who clearly knew they had a very tough task at any event, 2-1 behind, now facing a two-goal deficit, and these exultant Rangers fans. Drinkle in behind Aiken, it's still Drinkle! Kevin Drinkle showing a fine turn of speed there, going in behind Aiken. Well, Rangers starting the second half with a bang. Look at the way Drinkle got in behind Aiken. Aiken having to be very careful about conceding a penalty, and Drinkle's shot under pressure goes over. Butcher. Durant, headed by McCarthy, here's Chris Moss, overshooting McStay, good play by Butcher, led in by Durant for Walters, superb control, and no penalty kick, Derek White brings the ball clear, the Rangers fans very upset indeed about that. And that, for my money, is a major let-off for Celtic. Well, as the ball was played in here, we get a chance to see Mark Walters at his best. Now, look at the control here from Walters, taking on White. Now, that, for my money, was a foul. So, a let-off for Celtic as Joe Miller comes on. So oh, let's see in all this activity who has gone off. It looks as though it's Willie well, Stark who's been withdrawn. So now on the Celtic have to become totally adventurous if they're to save the match. Wilkins to Brown. Wilkins again. Not John Brown. Wilkins, here's McAvenny with Walker. Celtic so dangerous on the break. Walker needs support. Now checking inside himself, he's done very well, retaining possession. Grant now finds Rogan. Two players to face, Wilkins and Goff. Breaks off Ian Ferguson to McStay. Tackle came from Ferguson, a good one at that. Winkle turning straight into the White going up well with Drinkle. The arrival of White into the Celtic ranks, allowing Rogan to push into a more orthodox left midfield role. We 
replacing Tommy Barnes, who went off at half time. Boys to Walters. Walters now facing McCarthy. Getting in a fine cross. Now from Aiken, fouled there. Referee allowing play to continue. 